this June long weekend, if you're caught doing 16 kilometres over the speed limit, you'll lose six points. That's half your licence in one go. Double demerit points for speeding this June long weekend. If you and just one of your passengers are caught not wearing seatbelts this June long weekend, you'll lose your licence. Double demerit points for seatbelts this June long weekend. You couldn't watch this for two hours at home without your mind wandering off. So why try it on the road? you're four times more likely to have a fatal fatigue crash between 10 p.m. and dawn because that's when your body's circadian rhythms are programming you to sleep. Your temperature falls, your blood pressure drops and there's nothing you can do to reverse it. So if you push on, the danger of a micro sleep keeps rising and your trip could end here. So don't ignore the early warning signs, like yawning, poor concentration, tired eyes, restlessness. When you notice them, it's time to stop, revive, survive. Have you ever wondered why it's such a crime to drive after a few beers? Five minutes after your first drink, alcohol reaches your brain and starts to interfere with the way cells communicate. First, you lose the ability to assess risks. Then it affects your capacity to make decisions. After a few beers, you've lost your ability to handle complex problems. This becomes a serious danger when you drive. You can still change gear and steer, but what's missing are those higher skills that handle things like emergencies. Most nights you'll get home, but if something goes wrong, you're gone. The teaming crashes in the south coast is part of my job. Most of the time it's speeding, fatigue, drink driving, or people not wearing their seatbelts. One I remember is just a car that due to his speed, it was in a local area, residential area, 50 zone, um, going too quick and ended up hitting a pole. Basically watched him take his last last breaths. Being a, a country area, uh, a lot of people that live in the area may know the people involved in the accidents, and it does affect the community on the whole. And with two out of three fatalities in the South Coast, being South Coast people, these days, chances are I'll know them. Country people are dying on country roads. Please, play your part to cut the toll. only driving 10 kilometres over the speed limit. He survived with severe injuries, including loss of mobility. His friends didn't. Now, after the crash, police arrived. Did they submit you to a roadside breath test at the scene of the crash? Yeah, they said I was up. Over? Well, over the limit. You were the driver of a motor vehicle under the influence of alcohol, and as you drove along and impacted with that young child on the pedestrian crossing, you killed her. This particular offence carries 10 years jail as a maximum term. You okay? You've lost your licence, haven't you? What's going to happen about your job? Did you ever stop and think about that when you were drinking? I ran over a little girl. Go to bed, Jessica.
slow down in the rain. If you're caught speeding these Christmas New Year holidays, you're on your way to losing your license. For a few and any of your passengers are caught not wearing their seatbelt, your license could be gone. We need to double the merit points these Christmas New Year holidays. Authorised by the New South Wales Government, Sydney. Attending crashes in all the New South Wales is part of my job. You just never get used to it. It's due to four things. Speeding, drink driving, fatigue, people just not wearing their seatbelts. One of the worst crashes I remember is uh, Dad's got his two kids for the school holidays. He's wearing the seatbelt. He's forgot about his kids. He lost control, walked away unhurt. He just sat on the guardrail with his, his head in his hands. And all he can see with his, his son dead on the side of the road and his daughter getting driven away in an ambulance. She later died. People just took time to think about it. They can prevent these things from happening. And with two out of three fatalities being locals, chances are I'm going to know them. Country people are dying on country roads. Please, play your part to cut the toll. Need a cab, sir? No, all right, thanks. Cheers. Do you know one of the worst things that can happen while you're driving? This. Scientists call it a micro-sleep. Big problem. When you start to get drowsy, there's no way to know when you'll slip into one of these micro-sleeps. Bigger problem. At 100 k's, you travel over 100 metres every four seconds. So if you nod off, you could end up here, or here, or here. So don't ignore the early warning signs. When they start, it's time to stop, revive, survive. taken to the police station, you'll be interviewed, and you may be charged with some serious criminal offences.
last five metres of braking, you wipe off half your speed. So this car is still doing 32 k's when it hits. This one also hits, but only at 5 k's. So no matter how good a driver you are, 5 k's difference up there makes 27 k's difference down here. I made this card at school. It's a picture of you on your 50th anniversary. <laughs> we are dri driving to your house on Saturday. Come on, come on, come on. This is my summer holiday. We're all going on a summer holiday. As you can see, very organised. No more worries for me or you. Quite bad. For a week or two. We're going where the sun shines brightly. We're going where the sea is blue. We've seen it in the movies. Let's see. This is my summer holiday. We're all going on a summer holiday. No more working for a week or two. Fun As you can see, it's very organized. Summer holiday. No more worries for me or you. Quite dead. For a week or two. We're going where the sun shines brightly. We're going where the sea is blue. We've seen it.